I'm a retired Raiders linebacker here to clear up some of the confusion around Antonio Pierce's statement after the Raiders lost to Carolina yesterday. Check it out. The team just didn't seem to show up tonight. No, they didn't. I think as the game went on, uh, I don't think it was a team. It was. I think there was definitely some individuals that made business decisions. And we'll make business decisions going forward as well. So let's break that down. Making a business decision, that is not a label that any NFL player wants attached to their name, attached to their legacy, the last name on the back of their jersey, their brand. They don't want that word out there with, with other teams, with scouts, whatever, because it's essentially the worst thing you can say to a football player because making a business decision is combining, in my opinion, the two worst things that you can say about a football player, which is one, they're soft, and two, they're not committed. They're not a team guy. Uh, they're letting down the team. They're putting themselves above the team and saying, I'm going to turn down that contact. I'm going to turn down that hit. Whatever the case may be, not giving their all because they think the game's over and they don't want to get injured. It could be a million things, uh, but that's essentially what that means. And now I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, who is he talking about? What players is he talking about? What plays is he talking about? I've had minimal time to research all of this, but I know for sure the internet has done some work and this is kind of the main play people are bringing to the forefront. Let's check it out right here. Yeah, that's rough. It looks bad. I see why Antonio Pierce said what he said. You know, that did look like a business decision to that guy's defense. It looked like his linebacker was about to make the play. He kind of thought that, oh, maybe I'll just keep my shoulder out of there and not take the hit and risk the injury. And he's under 200 pounds. He's a cornerback. He's not brought on the team to make big uh, hits and big tackles. He's made, you know, locked down receivers. I get that. But at the same time, anybody who watches that probably did this number here. And everybody who will watch that in the future will have that feeling associated with that player. So not risking your body because you don't want to get injured because you think the game's done because you thought this guy was going to make the tackle because you didn't think he was going to break a tackle and you didn't chase him down at a 40 yard angle, whatever the situation, you're also risking the respect of your teammates, the respect of your coaches and your career to some extent because you may not be soft, but people are going to see that and read it as soft and associate that with your name. I know that guy's a great player and I know he's better than that. And I'm sure he'll make an adjustment from that. Now, in to flip the coin there and talk about Antonio Pierce, his side of things, give him a little grace too, because he may have said that comment. I don't know for sure. Maybe he said that with pure intentionality and there was no impulsivity in the moment or heightened emotion in the moment, but he may have had some heightened emotions and that came out and he heard it and was like, well, now I got to stick it. But when you hear it, you know, okay, this is going to incite some talks around the league. This is going to be a headline. This is going to strike some fear into my players whatever he may have done that full well and i'll tell you right now antonio pierce has the absolute right to do that he's their head man but even if he wasn't their head man antonio pierce has the right to say that because he lived that because that is antonio pierce's brand that dude was a tough sob played in the nfl for a long time at a high level was a star player and never turned down contact was going heads up with everybody playing through injuries all of the above and that is why they brought Antonio Pierce into the head coaching position he came in last year and, and made some waves and they said oh he's a players coach and he is and part of him being a players coach is the fact that people like his personality they like his brand of toughness and they can enjoy that but it's also that he played they know he lived it there is this level of respect, an extra level of respect commanded for coaches that have played, that can actually relate, that are saying, you need to do this job this way, this is how we do it in this organization. If they know that you have done that, you know what it's like to take those hits, you know what it's like to take on that pulling guard and spill it really thick and take it more face up and eye to eye on that guard that's got a seven yard head of steam and it's 350 pounds. Like, if they know you have done it and they said, oh, you need to do that too, Yes, coach. You know, when it's, there's still I'm, nothing against guys that didn't play and are just brilliant football minds. It just doesn't hit as hard. Antonio Pierce did hit hard and his words hit hard. And this one did. Those are big words to, you know, to, to say the business decisions. Those are fighting words often with it, the words that are attached to the business decisions. You made a business decision. 
those are fighting words. You call a football player soft, it's time to fight. You call a football player not committed, a uh, it's time to fight. And I think, again, I don't know Antonio Pierce personally, so I don't know where he's coming from. I'm not there day in and day out. But I think he knows that's going to incite some guys to have a little fear struck in them, bring a little more edge the next week. I hope it does. But those are my two cents. That's essentially what that means. Uh, if I missed some part of the meeting or you guys think there's other plays or whatever it is, give me your take below.